Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Masala Chai and Chess with Nisha. You know, I have been very very lucky in my life as some amazing souls have helped me. So today before we start seeing chess, I want to tell you a story from the pages of my life. So this was the year 2006. The previous year I had become the Indian national women champion and I really wanted to improve further in chess. I really liked the attacking style of international master Anup Deshmukh and I wanted his attacking style in my own game. By the way, for the record, Chessbiz India calls Ratnakaran as the Indian Tal. He is a great player. definitely but according to me anup deshmukh is the senior indian tal he has a fantastic attacking style so i went to anup dada and i asked him whether i could go to his house and spend some time with him and chess anup dada readily agreed so i went to his house in nagpur and we did a lot of classics but most importantly anup dada stressed the importance of mental and physical fitness for every chess player so he took me to the field every day he made me do a lot of exercise and he made me realize my potential he uplifted my confidence that was very very important for me so i had some wonderful time with him and he gave every minute of the day to uplift me so at the end of the 16 days i asked him about payment and do you know what he told me he said you are like my sister how can i take payment from you so today on the occasion of rakhi when we remember our brothers i decided to show to you all the brilliance of anup deshmukh with a cup of masala chai for the foreigners bhaiya or dada in the indian context means brother today i will show to you two games which anup dada showed to me back in 2006 the first game is very clear cut but the second game is very complicated both the games made great impressions in my mind So the first game which I will show to you is from the Indian National Championship played in 1998 in Muzaffarpur where Anup Dada played a great tournament and he qualified to represent India in the Chess Olympiad. So white is Anup Deshmukh, black is Vishal Sareen, another very strong player at that time. D4, D5, Knight F3, Knight F6. C4, C6, Knight C3, E6. We see the semi slab on the board. Bishop G5, H6, Bishop H4, D into C4, E4, G5. I will skip the opening part. I mean, I'll go through it very quickly. Bishop G3, B5, H4, G4, Knight E5, Rook G8. Bishop e2 attacking g4 h5 castles bishop h6 and here the fun begins d5 b4 now i have seen this about anup dada that whenever somebody would attack his piece instead of defending that he would always go for counter attack so as expected why does not move the knight Uh, moving that is uh, really bad so he plays queen a4 b into c3 d into c6 so now white is threatening to play c7 check vishal played queen b6 now instead if he plays king f8 here then c7 queen c7 knight g6 check and you see that the queen is gone also if here queen c7 
White has knight g4, attack to the queen, attack to the knight, attack bishop, everything is under attack. So, black played queen b6, c7 check, it's a check with attack to the knight, so black played knight bd7. So here, a very small task for you while I sip my masala chai. How did Anup Dada trap his opponent's queen? Hope you all found the simple idea. Knight c4, queen c5, b4, queen d4, and now the final important move. Bishop e5, trapping the queen. I really like this game because the black queen was trapped in the center of the board. Kindly note here that black cannot play queen into e4 because of this fork with knight d6 check. So this game went on for 31 moves and white won after that, but it's not important for us because white is clearly winning here. This queen trap is really striking. Unforced sacrifice and attack are the ones which attract me the most because they are the ones most difficult for me to play. These are mostly carried out through intuition but to give pieces when we are not sure is very hard, at least for me. Today, I'm going to show to you one such game which made a great impression in my mind. And you know what? Chess is not about perfection. It's about creating the right problems for our opponents to crack on that particular day. So, white is... M. R. Venkatesh, a fine attacker himself, who is now a grandmaster and he's always been a very strong player. Black is Anup Dada. This is a game from Commonwealth 2003. Knight f3, knight f6, g3, g6, bishop g2, bishop g7, d3, we see the ready on the board, castles, e4, d5, e5, knight f d7, queen e2, f6, knight c3, c6, d4, f into e5, d into e5, knight c5, bishop e3, knight e6. Alup is someone who does not know theory too much. He just creates practical problems for his opponents always. Triple O, B5, Knight G5, Knight into G5, Bishop into G5, Bishop E6. Queen E3, Knight D7, Knight E2, Knight B6. The battle now begins. So black wants to play knight c4, so white stops that with b3. a5 is played, black wants to attack. White plays queen c5 and he attacks e7. But Anup Dada does not care, so he continues with his attack a4. Now here, Venkatesh played knight d4. Now he is, Venkatesh himself is a great attacker and he thought maybe he could first play a useful move knight d4 attacking the bishop on e6 and maybe he could take bishop e7 the next move. So coming back to his position before knight d4, Venkatesh could have played bishop e7 but it is not as clear as it looks you know, from the first glance. So it's a little complicated, not very simple to the human eye because the dark squared bishop of black can create some problems later on. So uh, Venkatesh thought, okay, let's play knight d4, question this bishop on e6 
and I guess he wanted to play bishop e7 the next move but here Anuptada did not care for the bishop he continued with his idea a b3 this is really amazing a move i find very difficult to consider to play so venkatesh played knight into bishop instead i want to show to you a very interesting line if a into b3 this is an unforced line and a very interesting one bishop into e5 knight into e6 and a very nice move here knight c4 so black is threatening a mate with rook a1 but the knight on c4 is going right so b into c4 and now amazing idea bishop c3 with rook a1 to follow so this was uh, the idea of black and of course white saw it and white played knight into e6 so i did not take the pawn on b3 here another very interesting move black does not care to defend the attacked pieces he continues in the spirit of attack queen is under attack no problem b a2 now the point is if white takes knight into d8 here a1 queen king d2 knight c4 black is winning here so white played king d2 again the queen is under attack black does not care counter attack always knight a4 attacking white's queen queen into c6 queen a5 check king e3 rook a c8 attacking the queen queen d5 knight c3 queen d4 rook c4 i really like how black is troubling white's king white's queen in every move queen d7 and here black could win in many ways but it so happens that when you have a winning position and you know every move seems to be winning it's possible that we do make mistake in that particular position so here black made a mistake one of the wins which black had here i'll first show the win so the simplest win would be knight into d1 rook into d1 and just queen so white takes black can take back and black has a fantastic position this king is really very bad but anuptada saw a different idea and he played queen immediately so what he wanted to do was he wanted to distract the d1 rook rook into a1 queen b6 and i think both the players missed white's defense here so what white could have done here is knight d4 and the point is that white has this move next with a check to the king i think both the players missed this idea that black could not further attack the knight because of this queen e6 check trading the queens so white played king d3 here and now another fine move queen f2 now black is threatening a mate with queen e2 rook h e1 queen f5 check king d2 another nice move here knight b1 rook e b1 queen into c2 check king e1 queen f2 check king d1 queen g1 check king d2 queen g2 check king d3 queen e4 check king d2 white played this but white resigned immediately the point is 
white is getting mated after rook f2 king d1 queen e2 checkmate i hope you all liked the daring chess of anup deshmukh you know today everyone around us plays strong chess so we have to take risks we have to show courage and put so much pressure on our opponents that they crack under that pressure i hope you all liked the video do subscribe to my channel